This presentation represents some of the capabilities of the Empath system in the wind power powertrain. Empath is capable of viewing all moving components from the generator through to the main bearings in a 45 second test regardless of loading. Electrical signature analysis involves a collection of both voltage and current data in order to perform analysis on both motor and generators of all types. It was developed at, by Oak Ridge National Labs for testing motor operated valves in the nuclear power plants in the 1970s and entered industry in the early 1980s. Empath is the direct descendant of the Oak Ridge system and includes current signature analysis for motors and driven equipment, voltage signature analysis for generators and powertrain, power quality analysis, torsional analysis, and kilowatt analysis. As a whole, the Empath system is the only system that performs these comprehensive analysis. How does it work? In a perfect motor, the rotor is centered in the stator and all fields are even. If a perfect voltage sine wave is introduced, a perfect current wave results. If there are any defect frequencies in the voltage sine wave, then those frequencies will appear in the current FFT, but a smaller magnitude due to the dampening effect through the motor and fields. In order to compare equivalent magnitudes, the results of both are shown in dB. When looking around the line frequency, it is common to demodulate or remove the carrier frequency in order to look at low frequency issues in motor current. However, you must use modulated data to determine the actual severity. The purpose of electrical signature analysis is to identify any variation in the magnetic field. The detection is related to both the side-to-side -side movement and torsional movement and is related to the turning and twisting of the rotor. The same thing works for generators but is performed as voltage signature analysis. For doubly fed inverter generators and generators in general, you must use both voltage and current analysis as well as power torque and waterfall analysis. In the wind turbine industry, doubly fed inverter generators have specific failure modes. While bearing replacement is a larger percentage of generator issues, the total of the electrical component failures is greater than bearings, which is unusual. In this case, the primary issues that are found in the generator tend to be stator magnetic wedges coming out or moving and rotor wiring failures in several designs. Note that we are not discussing the gearbox and main bearing issues that can also be detected with Empath. The Empath system uses a number of types of spectra for analysis and includes the voltage and current spectra for doubly fed inverter generators. This spectra is used for analyzing most bearing gear and some rotor issues. The high frequency and power analysis spectra are used to look at gear mesh rotor problems, and high-speed related issues closer to the generator. The waterfall analysis allows us to look at variations over time as most doubly fed inverter generators vary in speed. This helps us look at small variations in speed and the results. The torsional analysis allows us to look and confirm gearbox, Y-ring, and other air gap torque problems. A full analysis of wind generator and powertrain requires a review of all of these spectra in order to be accurate and pinpoint issues. These tools also allow us to highly accurate or allow a highly accurate analysis of other types of electric machines and their powertrains or loads. In this case study we will look at a common issue with the older GE wind generators, which is not unique to just this design or manufacturer. In this study, the Empath software was used with a data collector to look at for cracked Y-ring connections in the rotor. 40 units were evaluated with 21 being susceptible to this type of issues, of which 11 were found to have Y-ring fractures by testing. For all wind generators, the data must be taken on the stator between the transformer and controls of the generator. This eliminates a chance that faults will be filtered out. For this specific design, one current clamp was put on each phase and a CT ratio of 3 was used, which uh, due to three cables in parallel, and voltage was attained 
from the front. Without e-plugs, the towers were de-energized before and after testing for connection and disconnection. Data collection was obtained outside of the tower for safety. When the transformer is located in the nacelle, such as with Vestas designs, an e-plug is vital. The CTs are installed and voltage is connected at the point between the controls and stator. A CAT5e cable is used to drop the data to the base of the tower where the data collector and laptop are used to obtain the data. The results will be the same. The inspection of the tower is using low frequency, high frequency power and torsional indicators for identification and confirmation was very accurate. The first case study is of a double fracture on the Y ring. Single fractures were also found. The accuracy for the study was 100%. All the fractured Y rings were found and there were no false positives. A partial fracture showed low to no values in the indicators. The red arrows are pointing to peaks associated with bearings and gearbox components. The partial crack did show very low levels due to a change in circuit impedance. For more information on the Empath system, contact MotorDoc LLC or one of our partners. You can purchase instruments and training for your own analysis or contact us or one of our partners or other service companies that provide Empath services. Continuous monitoring systems are also available. Contact us for information or questions.